Hey guys and girls, this is Jano. I'm just going to show you um, how to play the game. Basically, you see there is my headquarter and you see the one white yeah, uh, circle, which basically is one touch and I've kept my finger on the screen of my phone. And that will enable me to move around the map by scrolling with my finger. It's pretty easy. The next thing you'll see is double fingers, which I've got two fingers on my screen right now and you can see there's two white spots and that can let me zoom in and out. As you just see me do there. And then you can do the exactly the same thing. You use two fingers, you touch top left and bottom right at the same time and then you let go straight away and it will give you the selection as you just see. You can also select a building and then once you've selected that building you can go and make a rally point into another building as you just seen there. Basically you select the building and then you select another building and keep your finger down on it and then that will give you a rally point. Selecting units, multiple units, you like I said double fingers on the screen and then you can get them to actually guard or follow a unit as you just see me there by selecting the unit and then pressing down on wherever you want them to follow and then they'll just give you that shield icon and then they'll just automatically follow that unit as you can see that's the rally point working there without me actually having to control the robot brains and putting them individual places where i want them to go they'll automatically build and go straight into the building or even into an area space. So now I've selected the units, I'm going to group them and you see on the right as you just see me click with my finger, I've just grouped them units so that whenever I want them I'll just press on that icon wherever they are on the map I'll just it'll take me straight to them. I've regrouped the other robo brains as well that's following the units, the spider units. This is the science lab, basically it just auto upgrades anything. That's the first upgrade of the science lab. Brain produced. You can see I've already programmed the, um, the medium factory to automatically go to an area on the map, <coughs> which is the rally point that they're going to. And now I'll just re rally point the um, headquarter to go into the science lab so that all the rover grades will automatically go in the science lab. That's where I set the first rally point and we see the spider stop in a minute. The first spider. And you can see now the rover brains. I just fast forwarded this because there was a lot of unnecessary image. This is the science lab. Once you've done the first upgrade, you get all them options will open up to you. You can double click on a group as you can see it's all pinked out. That's you double clicking on a group and it'll take you straight to where the, the groups are and um, basically shows you where they are and then it'll take you to it. This is the medium factory um, options that you can build. You can also force um, build on there. So like now I'm building a spot, but I want to build a commander. So basically by pressing on the icon, it'll automatically change over, but it'll reset the timer as well. Um, you can exit units out of buildings by selecting the building and then looking down at the bottom, you'll see the red cross, press on the red cross and it'll take the, build it'll take the brain out of the building. and then you can put them wherever you want to put them. Alright, this is the heavy factory which basically gives you the ability to build um, rocket tanks, uh, repair tanks and heavy tanks. 
As you can see, the initial first brains that I had, I'm sending them into the heavy tanks. So I just sent my units by the repair bay to repair them. That's the um, soldier suit factory which builds a load of different stuff. Okay. You gotta make sure you keep your flag covered at all times. Always have units around it so that the enemy cannot take it over there easily. That's the airstrike building, which uh, airdrop building, which basically drops a load of different stuff as well. As you see me do a lot with the uh, brain drop. This is the advanced tech building, which develops um, shield tanks, amplifiers, EMP, and mine drop. You've already seen this one at, at my, my HQ, which develops spiders, spotters, scorpions, and commanders. You guys are seeing a lot of blacked out stuff on the map when I zoom out. That's the fog of war. The reason for that is so that you can't. Okay. So. Rally point set. The, the, there's the rally point that I was talking about with um, selecting a building and then setting a rally point out in the open. By, do, by doing this with your turret as well, you can make your turret face wherever you want it to face. Exactly the same way as you would do with the rally point. On here you can change the turret heads, as you can see we do there, there's several different uh, selections to change from. Produced. By just pressing and holding down on it and then picking which one you want. That's the shield building, which uh, you can use to shield your whatever's inside of that shield. There's another one in there. That's the tactical view, which gives you the ability to look all over the map if you've got eyes on. You also get a mini map as well, which I'll show you. Select your heavy tank, and then you can press stop. That will stop it from going anywhere on the map or following it. And then if you use the rally point options on the heavy tank, it will turn to that way as well. As you've just seen it do that. <clears throat> like I said, it's very important to cover your, your flags. If you look here, I've just pre-selected the... You can also group turrets as you just seen me do that. Which gives you an ability to actually go from one turret to the other. As you can see now, I'm going to switch to the other turret, which is in the middle. This is all fast forward gameplay that was really unnecessary. But just to give you a better idea of what's going on, I've kept it running instead of cutting it out because there's a big portion of it later. Right, in the options, you can act while in the game, you can actually turn things on and off like the minimap. I've got it on off now, I've turned it on and then set it on large so you can see what the minimap looks like. It's basically, it looks exactly like that, the um, tactical view. There's other different options which I haven't really gone into because there's no need to for them. You can learn it as you play the game. On here, there's the minimap as you see there. Um, you can also use touch on the minimap as you see me doing right now. You can go all over the uh, map by just clicking on the minimap and it'll take you to wherever you just clicked on. Which is pretty cool because now you've got two windows. You've got the tactical view, which is a lot smaller, and then you've got the gameplay view. 
and it's not too bad for her. This is now me showing you how to take over headquarter and destroying an enemy. Basically, you just send all your troops in and then you start capturing the headquarter of the enemy flag. As you see the countdown there, it'll destroy the enemy completely. It'll wipe them off the game and then that's them out of the game. Um, the more units you have there, obviously the more, the faster the, tire, the, the countdown will go down. That's one example, and now I'm going to show you a different example, which is basically identical. As you can see, I just had some backup units just in case those initial units got demolished. So this is what I was trying to say earlier. All turrets have um, have range capabilities. Obviously. They've got some of them are long range, some of them are short range, but all of them's got weakness, and their weakness is if you actually go right up to them, as you see me do now, they cannot shoot. It's like if you look at my heavy tank, you see the red circle there. If anything goes inside of that red circle, the heavy tanks can't shoot them. But obviously, us, but the, the turrets have a bigger red circle, which gives them, makes them useless if you get into that circle. That's it boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed this video and enjoy the game when you go to download it. Hopefully you've got a better knowledge of the game now and when you do get, get to play on it, you enjoy it a lot more because you actually understand what you're doing. See you later.